This is Kenneth Chu. He's professor of saxophone at the University of Iowa, and he's the world's leading classical player. A few days ago, we had our masterclass with him, which was incredible. He talked about so many important saxophone concepts, but the way he explained things, it was so clear, so to the point, amazing. And out of everything that he talked about, he talked about extended techniques and also how to slap tongue. And the way he explained how to slap tongue, it was just mesmerizing, was just incredible. So I was like, you know, I have to share this with you guys because it's so important. So if you're learning how to slap tongue, or even if you already know how to slap tongue, but you're trying to refine your technique, I think this explanation from Kenneth will just solve a lot of doubts. So guys, enjoyed this little video and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be super, super helpful. Let me know here below in the comments how everything goes with your slap tongue. And if you want to access the whole masterclass, the link is here below. But don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you get notified when I post new content. And also don't forget to download your free saxophone guide with seven tips that will help you improve your saxophone playing even further. The link is here below. So let's enjoy this video with Kenneth. Let's see how he explains how to slap tongue and I will see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye. Take care. I don't know if you can see. You can see my tongue is kind of moving too as I'm pulling it. So as long as you can feel the sensation of the suction, what they call it, right? So that you will be so much further ahead if you can feel that and be able to do the suction because that is the basic basic uh, uh, action of, of the no, uh, of the slap tonguing is to stick there okay so once you can do that then the next step uh i would oh by the way i always recommend um not just for slap tonguing but any changes uh physical changes allow yourself at least uh five to seven days just a week of time even if you can do it i recommend the student to stay on the same exercise for several days um, because that you know your brain needs time um, you know people say you need 21 days to change a habit it's kind of like that so you need a lot of time for your brain to process and to remember uh, the action so take time even if you can do it stay with it uh, don't hurry the process and then the next step would probably uh, once you can get and by the way you can in the beginning don't worry about the 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 proper uh, form or proper uh, positioning the important is be able to even if you use a lot of tongue that's fine as long as you can feel the suction and then the next step would be kind of creating more suction and then see if you can pull it pull your reed down just a little bit and this is the part that where you would uh, break a lot of reed because you're trying to push put a lot of pressure on the reed to stick onto it and then you pull it and a lot of people will crack the tip of the reed and eventually in the beginning it might be a very slight sound but you can I think you can hear it Yeah, can you hear the sound? Yeah. Turn up, oops. Turn up the mic here. Right. Sorry, you have to look at my tongue. But, um, so that really is the, the, the next step. After you can feel the suction, right, with the tuck of war, and then pull it down. And that is the actual slap action. Um, uh, again, most of the students, they, they're too anxious, like, okay, but, but I'm using a lot of tongue and I can't do it. Yes. In the beginning, <laughs> you're going to use, use a lot of tongue and it's okay. 
I always say don't aim for perfection. You shouldn't aim for perfection in the begin whenever you learn something new. You, you just aim for learning proper concept. Um, so once you can do that, then you can maybe graduate to the, the I recommend using the neck and the mouthpiece setup because with the mouthpiece often it's too soft. You can't really hear it uh, very well, but with the, you know, it helps the pop sound, right? So again, in the beginning, don't worry about forming the embouchure. The goal is to be able to get as loud a pop as possible with the suction. You know, just do it over and over so for several days a week until you can create that. And it, it does have, most people also don't realize how much pressure you really have to push. So you do have to, in the beginning anyway, you do have to push it up a little bit on the reed and then create that suction. I mean, you can even hear my finger pulling the reed sound, you know, because it was kind of stick on the reed and then kind of pulled out. Same concept. So you can do that for a while. And then the next step, maybe you can form the embouchure. But again, keep the position of your tongue. Use a little bit more tongue is, if, if necessary. Yeah, so this few step is the most trickiest. So you have to be patient. Um, so again, go slow. I know it's hard, but go slow. Uh, and then and then get a try to create a louder slap with just a read first, and then move on to this. Um, and then eventually, you have to make sure your embouchure doesn't move too much. Uh, and then the last step would be to, uh, uh, important thing to remember, you don't actually blow onto it, okay? You don't blow into it in the beginning anyway. So when you do s first do the slap, the whatever air, that's kind of, again, related to what we talked about hour and a half ago about the inside your mouth resonance. So most of the air, there's some air inside your oral cavity, right? So as you're pulling, the reed agitate the air inside your mouth. That creates the pop sound. So I'm not really blowing into it. So whatever air I'm going, basically like that. Um, and then it will eventually get louder and louder. Okay. And then at this point, you can slowly maybe practice um, placing your reed further forward. So in the beginning, you might be in the middle of your tongue, right? Using the middle of your tongue to slap, right? But then if you can do that, then slowly move forward. And then eventually toward the tip, well, not tip, tip of your tongue, but tip part of the front part of your tongue. And the reason for that is, uh, and in some music, um, it does require you to alternate between slap and regular note. And that is, that is the kind of the ultimate challenge. Um, and you do have to use less tongue in general, but in the beginning, again, it's okay to stay with toward, you know, the middle of your tongue and use a little bit more tongue. Uh, and then you can always adjust um, later. So that's kind of the <laughs> long way of explaining, but it's really quite necessary to do it step by step. Otherwise, you'll be very frustrated if you try to rush, rush the process. It will, it will come if you can if you do it right in the beginning. Uh, some and, and it's hard to gauge because some of my students they can get it like same day. Some student. Uh, recently, one of my one of my students took him like at least three four weeks to learn the slap tonguing. Uh, he was getting very frustrated, but you know I told him to try to go backwards a little bit 
and until you can feel the, the slap, the suction, and then move forward from there. And eventually, after many hours of practicing, he was able to do it. Um, so it just tells you that it's, you know, there's no quick way uh, of learning it really.